about the most underrated app in the game. Bold statement. Bold statement, I know. Brace yourselves. I'm going to try to make a case that this is the most underrated app. If we want to just narrow it down a little bit to help you believe me, let's say this is the most underrated messaging app, non-native you know, messaging app out there. Hello, and welcome back. Another episode, Live Performance Podcast. My name is Alex Martinson. It's actually Alexander. Don't know if you knew that. Today, I've got a good one for you today. I've got a good one for you today. Where's my phone? Okay, I want to tell you. I'm going to tell you about the most underrated app in the game. Bold statement, bold statement, I know. Brace yourselves, I'm going to try to make a case that this is the most underrated app. If we wanna just narrow it down a little bit to help you believe me, let's say this is the most underrated messaging app, non-native you know, messaging app out there, okay? Marco, Polo, brothers and sisters, hear me out. I expect that most of you listening to this know what Marco Polo is. Marco Polo is a game changer. It can be a game changer if you use it. So let me just tell you why. Let's talk about, well, first of all, for those of you who maybe don't know, Marco Polo is an app that could probably be summarized as a video walkie-talkie. You record a short message, it's video and audio, it goes to your friend, they can watch it at their convenience, you'll see when they've watched it, they can fast forward so that they can get to the point more quickly, a lot of times you're explaining something and we can listen and understand faster than we can talk, so they could listen to it at 2x speed and still understand everything you're saying, and they can pause it, they can rewind it. And it just lives there on their phone. So that's what Marco Polo is. So let me just talk about why I'm so passionate about Marco Polo. I'm a power user. Okay. Have you heard that term? They're like, you know, there's people that use uh, a smartphone. There's people that use a MacBook. And then there's power users, like ones that like really leverage it and use most or all of its features. So you could say I'm a power user on Marco Polo. Um, It's different than a text in a lot of ways. But there are certain things that you probably wouldn't send in a text that you would definitely send in a Marco. Like if you just happen to be somewhere in the middle of your day, maybe you're taking a break, you're running somewhere, and you just kind of have these thoughts, you know, maybe it's like if, if let's just say it's your friend, uh, that you do some work with, right? Your business, not partners, but you, you talk to them a lot, right? Okay. Let's just use an example. So like my buddy, Ryan, Ryan Lee, right? We talk all the time, but it's like, he's got a lot going on. Um, if what I want to say to him is just kind of me rambling a little bit, it's the type of thing I would say if he happened to be in the car with me, I'd just be talking And I want to get it out. I want to share it with him. He might find it interesting or funny, but it's not like I really need something from him. I don't know that I want to put it all into a text and think through every word, you know, and then ask for a response or he'll feel like he needs to respond directly to it, right? Marco Polo is great for that. I'm also not going to FaceTime him. Maybe if it's like, I don't want to interrupt his day, you know, it's like, let me just blast off a quick Marco. It's like, hey man, I was listening to this thing today. It made me think about you. Made me think about this one time. Remember when we were here and here, and uh, and we listened to this guy speak. And remember how crazy that was. Blah blah blah. blah. Cool. Anyway, man, let me know what you think about that. I'll talk to you later. Okay. That communication. It adds to our relationship. It's entertaining. It's fun for him to get. It's different than a text is the point that I'm making there, okay? I probably wouldn't put that in a text. Um, How else is it different than a text? It's different than a text 
because your great grandma might not be particularly savvy with text. So we've got great grandma level, you've got grandma level, and then you have like your parents. Okay. I kind of like to aim my content, and my message to us millennials, you know, like the nineties kids. Let's just talk about texting our dads for a second. Okay. You know, my dad's a baby boomer, but like barely he's a young baby boomer. My dad's the man. Okay. He's, he's pretty savvy. <laughs> he's super savvy. But you know what I'm saying when I say that they don't understand the emotion in a text as naturally as maybe we do, right? You know what I'm saying? You text your uncle who's like 56 and he's like, that sounds great with a period. And you're like, are you mad? Why didn't you put an exclamation mark there, man? Made me feel like you were mad. You know what I'm saying right now? Marco Polo is better than a text. Uh, for a lot of things. How's it different than FaceTime? Again, FaceTime, that's pretty like, it's pretty hardcore. You're interrupting someone's day. And if that person is retired, you know they're hanging out or you know what they're doing right now and you want to FaceTime them, I'm all about it. I actually prefer to FaceTime than phone call when it's like with friends. Like, I dare to say that the majority of the time that I just call up a friend, I'm FaceTiming them. It's way more fun. But I also decline a lot of calls, a lot of FaceTimes because for me and my personality and the way that I get things done, I'm very scheduled. I'm a very calendared person. And so unless I happen to be kind of on a break or out of a, you know, out of a particular task, I'm probably not going to answer the phone. This is the way I am. So, but I will check a Marco later when I have a chance and I still get that face to face contact. It's better than a FaceTime in a lot of cases. Okay, let's get to some of the good stuff. Marco Polo is amazing because you import your contacts into the app and it will tell you who has Marco Polo and it's a lot of people. It'll also tell you who's been on recently. So you know if they don't just have the app but have never used it, it's like, you know, hey, so-and-so was active uh, a few hours ago or it'll say a few days ago, a few weeks ago. The point I want to make here is that it will rekindle relationships that otherwise may never get rekindled. I have so many examples of this. There are people that show up on my Marco Polo that maybe were uh, like friends in high school, friends from my uh, church mission days. And I'm like, you hit the thing. You're like, hey man, I'm like what's up Blake? What's up Brandon? Dude, it's been forever. How the heck are you? Just saw your name pop up on the Marco Polo. Just thought I'd say, hi, man. Hope you're doing well. I expect you are. And uh, man, just thinking about all the good times we had back when, when we lived in Georgia. You're the man. Tell me what's new. That relationship could very well become rekindled, you know? Grandparents, this is a game changer with the grandparents, okay? My grandma and grandpa on my dad's side. They are quite old. My grandpa is 90, I want to say he's 97. And my grandma's in her late 80s, early 90s. She's a bit younger than him. Anyway, she is a Marco Polo pro. And you know how it is to call someone, like call your grandparents, if, especially if they're like quite a bit older. You just sometimes, and, and this could be me, but you feel like you're kind of putting some work on them. You know, they got to get the phone and call for grandpa, grandpa, he's got to come down the stairs and they're trying to hear you. And it's like, you're taking them from what they were doing to this call, right? A call is by nature urgent because the phone is ringing and eventually it won't be ringing and you miss the call. But to send a Marco Polo where they can at their convenience, get it, then respond. It's amazing. I would not call my grandma and grandpa 20 times a year. I promise you that. But we definitely talk at least that, more than that, on Marco Polo, and it's phenomenal. She sent me a Marco Polo, my grandma, um, right after our newest baby was just born. And it's just her and grandpa. Here's the thing. That is priceless to me. That's timeless. Like, I'll have that forever. 
they'll pass on and I will have those video and audio messages that I can show to my five day old son. Say, hey man, look at, these were these grandparents you maybe never met. And they were congratulating me on you coming home from the hospital. That's awesome. Um, Catalytic activity. So I talk a lot about catalytic activities. These are, these are actions that you can take over and over again for the purpose of improving your own state of mind, your state of being. So I believe that creating a peak state first thing in the morning, I believe that it's the most important thing you'll do all day. I believe that it's the most charitable thing you could do for your family, for the people that work with you. Like I'm, I have a religious fervor about this. The creating a peak state, it it also, there's this thing about recreating it. So during the day, afternoon, whatever it is, you're going into a meeting, you're going into a call and you're just aware that you're in a suboptimal state whether it's your mind, body, or spirit, or combination of those three, those are the big three. And so you can have a list of things that are catalytic, that spark uh, getting back to that fired up, bright, excited, energized state. And one of those things for me is utilizing Marco Polo. You jump on there, pick somebody with whom you have not had a conversation in a while, and just pour some light into their life. What's up, John? Dude, just want to tell you I love you. Just want to tell you that I will never forget what a good friend and support you were to me 20 years ago. And I hope this message finds you well. Just know that I'm in your corner. I'm your brother. And I saw a picture of your family the other day on Facebook, man. You guys are looking great. Happy Thursday. And I feel better. I feel a little bit, you know, excited and pumped up about that. It helps me actually pump up my state a little bit to do. The other thing is it shows you birthdays. It will tell you when it's someone's birthday. That is awesome because nobody doesn't appreciate getting a unexpected video audio message from someone on their birthday. And that is clutch uh, that Marco Polo alerts you of that. All right, here's the last point I want to make on this. Marco Polo is extremely helpful in collaboration. So if you are working with someone um, on creating content, if you are partnered up with them on a particular project, whether that's like for church or in business, you're working on something. Um, There are a lot of little messages you want to send throughout the day. And if you get on the call, if you get on the phone a lot during the day, let's just talk about business partners for a minute or, or business, you know, business owner, employee type thing. Um, I've been in relationships like this and I've consulted people that are in relationships like this where there's a lot of little phone calls throughout the day. And they may find that they don't actually often have like good conversations as anymore, or, or maybe it's very rare because most of their conversation is like these quick rushed little, Hey, by the way, let me tell you about this. You know, you got to call, call Jose and make sure that he pays his guys and then, okay, this, and then, you know, they hang up and they call back 10 minutes later with something else. If it's not super urgent, blasting it out in a Marco, letting them check it 10, 15 minutes, get back to you. Super, super helpful. So productive for collaboration, collaborative efforts, and you can do groups. Okay, man, I'm just like a promoter over here. This is not sponsored by Marco Polo. Maybe it should be. You can do a group. You blast it out in the group. It's more, it's, it's different than a group text. You know, I think it's more fun. So just consider leaning in to this technology that could improve your existing relationships, rekindle old relationships, connect you with people from other generations, your grandparents, your great grandparents. Um, it could be a catalytic activity to your own state. 
It's a way to get yourself re-energized and excited and be more productive in your collaborative efforts with others. That's what I got for you. If you enjoyed this, send me a message on Marco Polo, gosh dang it. And I'll talk to you in the next one.